I got to do something, man. I got to step it up in the bedroom. I'm too, I'm too uh, sensual of a lover. I'm very, very, yeah, man, I'm delicate, all right? You know, I can't just get in there. I need the right lighting, a good temperature. The fan can't be on too high, you know? Isn't that the worst when you turn on the fan and it's just going nuts? And the chain is just clink, clank, clink, clink, clank, clank, clank. Threatening to loop back up in the fan. The one screw you have in time is like, I don't know, I've never gone this fast. You better pray for physics. That scares me. I need to do something, man. Because here it is, man. Ladies, you're stepping up your kink in the bedroom. I know what it is, right? I don't know what you're watching or you're reading. You're asking for moves you didn't tell us to stretch for. You know, you're pulling out things without telling. Like, I was, I was with a woman once. Once. Right? Yeah. And I thought I was doing a good job. I thought I was making sweet love, the kind that poets write about. You know what I'm talking about? And the mountains crashed and the rivers were flowing. You know? Halfway through, she grabbed my hand and she slowly started moving it up to her neck. I know! I was like, oh no. This is a terrible time to reveal you have an Adam's apple. That's what I thought. That was my first thought. Said it was a terrible time to reveal it. Didn't say I was gonna stop, you know what I'm saying? Yo, when you're in it, you're in it, you know? You're just like, oh, no wonder it was so dry and you keep moving. So I kept trying to pull away, right? I kept pulling away. She finally told me, she's like, I want you to choke me, all right? Yeah, look at me. Okay, I've never choked a thing in my life. Okay, I'm not good with squeezing. Most of my toothpaste tubes still have toothpaste in them. That's how bad I am at it. But then she explained to me, she's like, you don't really choke in the middle of sex, all right? You just press really hard on the left side of my throat right here, and it cuts off enough oxygen and send me euphoria when I finish, right? The girls that are giggling have given this speech. Right? They're like, don't actually use your thumb. That's all for show. Don't grip, okay? This is killing. This is sex. This is killing. This is sex. You know? But here's the thing. I still couldn't do it. So I just took her heart rate aggressively. I was just like, you're at 120 beats per minute, babe. You're in the fitness zone. You're burning off that donut. <laughs> I gotta do something, man. I think every man's gotta do something, you know? We need to step it up for the women, man, you know? Like, I, I'm, gonna, I'm a believer that ladies should be able to bring as many sex toys into the bedroom as they want. <laughs> Only the women with me. Guys are never with me on that. Every dude's looking at me like, what? Guys, think of it this way. Let that machine do 80% of the work, <laughs> all right? And then you come in at the last 20% and save the day, you know what I'm saying? She forgets you were there and you're like the T-Rex at the end of the first Jurassic Park. Just out of nowhere, just, ah, banner, yeah. Credits, roll, I was here the whole time.